Now, let me bring you some breaking news just from the last few minutes. We're hearing that prosecutors in Romania have extended the detention period for the social media influencer Andrew Tate and his brother Tristan until the 27th of February. Now, that comes as teenage girls in Romania have described how he, Mr Tate, and his brother contacted them online, apparently using a standard formula. The two women, who were 16 and 17 at the time that they were approached, have been speaking to the BBC about the methods used in the messages. Now, the Tate brothers have been held in Romania while police investigate allegations of trafficking and of rape. They deny wrongdoing. Our correspondent Lucy Williamson has this report. Behind the screen, Andrew Tate is speaking. His utterances followed by a tiny audience of prosecutors lawyers and police. The rest of the world stands waiting as police investigate allegations of trafficking and rape. One of those allowed through the gates today was his brother Tristan's girlfriend arriving with his daughter. Investigators have just over a week to present evidence that a crime has been committed here. Neither Andrew Tate nor his brother have yet been charged, but their public image has been complicated by the things they say and the way they behave online. Daria was 16 when she says she received a private message on Instagram two years ago from Andrew Tate's account. It read simply, Romanian girl, followed by a strawberry emoji. It was just, it was very obvious we were high school girls, like we had their high school, like in our bio and everything. I feel like he was just trying to find girls that seemed as like, innocent or naive as possible, in my opinion. Daria, who's now at university in the UK, says it's important she speak out because so many young men idolize Andrew Tate. And I don't think that at this time this is being regulated at all. And this is a big problem because we can't wake up in 20 years with like 2 million Andrew Tates. I just say... In a video, Andrew Tate outlined his method for approaching women online. Sometimes, because like I said, intrigue, I'll put a completely pointless emoji on the end. Some cherries, or an orange, or a strawberry. Because it doesn't mean anything. Then I, my, my reply, why do I never see you? Where are you hiding? 99% of them say, I'm not hiding. That's what nearly every one of them says. I'm also to a pretty talk. Another woman who didn't want to reveal her identity on camera showed us screenshots of an exchange between her and Tristan Tate when she was 17 that appears to follow Andrew's script. She was first contacted last May. His initial message reads, you're beautiful. He then moves on to say, I feel I've seen you around town before. Where have you been hiding? It's likely, she replies, I didn't hide. <laughs> I know he was writing the same thing to a lot of girls, including a friend of mine. He used the same approach, always starting the conversation with exactly the same line. You're beautiful. In publicity for his online courses in manipulating and exploiting women, Andrew Tate has said his job was to meet a girl, sleep with her, get her to fall in love with me to the point where she'd do anything I say, and then get her working on webcam so we could become rich together. Schools here in Romania are talking about the issue of online safety, sparked by headlines around the Tate case. More than half the girls in this class had already been contacted by an adult stranger online. Teachers say they're in a battle to shape the next generation against influencers like Andrew Tate. Lucy Williamson, BBC News, Bucharest.